Alright, how's it going everybody? No, I haven't made a video in quite some time. I apologize. I will not leave you again. But, I've been busy with work and stuff like that. But I finally got around to making another video. So here's the history of playing cards. Alright, and I don't have all the playing cards to fill in the gaps. Obviously, I don't have like the original cards. I'm pretty sure they don't make those anymore. But, we're going to show you how these came to be so pretty much the first cards were invented in China and they were about um, like this size strips of paper probably a little bit longer than this actually like a tarot card length with some so and they had like you know pictures like cards too now and writing on it and uh, those were the first co playing cards in the 19th century is what they think when they were invented um, and those basically stayed the same for a while then they came out with money cards and I don't know what those look like I haven't been able to find any pictures but they were basically just playing cards with depiction of money on it uh, I'm not sure if they were used as money or what the deal was with those I haven't been able to find too much information on them so, those were the Chinese playing cards, and those stuck around for a while, but they uh, eventually developed into dominoes and tile base games. So, here we have some uh, Pai Gao dominoes on top, some uh, Mahjong tiles, and some Western dominoes here on the bottom. And um, there's also another type of uh, Chinese domino which it's the same dimensions of this Mahjong tile but with uh, pips on it but you need like 70 almost 80 tiles dominoes to play like the games that you need to play with them something like that but this is what developed from Chinese uh, playing cards and um, I'll be making a video on how to play Mahjong and uh, other regular domino games too, and other Pi Gao domino games too. I'll be making videos on all of these uh, again. So that's pretty much that, and that um, has stuck around. There's really uh, not too many uh, um, Chinese playing cards left. They still play money cards in some parts of like Vietnam and whatnot. But anyway, so right now. We have those, and then as the Chinese playing cards, you know, the strips of paper this big, traveled west through the Middle East, they developed into something that looks more like tarot cards. And basically what those were like, they were basically the same size, um, and they had the cl uh, clubs, uh, coins, swords, and cups, like... Um, tarot cards do today. They didn't have pictures like they do here. They didn't have depicted people. They did, but like military ranks or symbols or something like that. But not people. I don't know if that had something to do with, you know, in Islam or something like that if you can't depict people. But that's what happened. And then when these were introduced to Europe in about the 14th century, they slowly developed into European style playing cards. And um, these are um, Italian set of tarot cards. French cards look um, just like regular playing cards today, but on card size of tarot cards. But they um, also have the special cards like I have here. Uh, that's what those um, French tarot cards look like. So basically, these right here, you have French tarot cards, which I just explained, but then you have Spanish playing card, uh, tarot cards, and Italian, and um, those are the main three groups. And they, the Italian and the Spanish ones pretty much all look the same. And these were played in other countries as well, like Switzerland, um, German countries, that's where... Spain, that's where they play Italian slash Spanish tarot cards. 
and French tarot cards were, were mainly played in France, but other countries as well, where they spoke Fran French and uh, probably uh, in some English-speaking countries too. And so, what they changed from the uh, Arab or, um, cards that came in is they uh, kept the suits, which is numeral uh, 1 all the way to uh, 10. And they added the people, depicting people, as the face cards. And you have uh, the page, the queen, and uh, the knight, and also misplaced the king somewhere. But you also have a king. Um, and that's um, what they added to that. And you kind of see how um, uh, more than cards developed in this. You know, the page, obviously, the jack. There's no more knight, and they have, still have the queen, and kept the king. Here we go. Um, and um, trying to find the picture of that for you, king. Oh well, but they also added to that these special cards here, like the hangman, the sun, which just added up to it. Um, this uh, standard deck of tarot cards, at least uh, um, this set, has 78 cards, I believe. Well, anyway, as um, time moved along, um, they basically took a tarot deck apart, and basically different countries or different regions would take cards out and uh, leave some in to develop unique decks of cards and um, that developed into what we think as as more modern cards or at least on the road to it now I want to add real quick there's also a, a type of card well I guess you could call them the more like coins probably about this big uh, that were developed in um, India uh, uh, Persia that region and those were like coins made of cloth like that which were used to play games. Uh, I don't have any of those. Uh, they're kind of obscure, but it is what it is. <clears throat> so, as they were taking these tarot cards apart, they developed other cards. So right here I have a Spanish deck of cards. And you can see, by looking at these, is you know we have the coins, uh, the clubs, the swords, and the... <clears throat> um, Clubs, swords, coins, and uh, cups. And we can see how this developed. They dropped the special cards, the like magician from the tarot deck, and they developed this. Now, most uh, Spanish playing cards, uh, like you see here, um, only have 40 cards in them because there's no um, 8, uh, 9, or numeral 10. Um, and the face cards here we have the king, the knight, and the jack. No queen. And so far, this is uh, they still use these all over the world in Spanish speaking countries Spain, Mexico, here in the United States, South America. And this is starting to look more like what we see as cards today. The cards we use here in America, anyway. And that is the one that I have to uh, make part two of this video. So when I come back, I will show you uh, how cards developed into more modern playing cards, like the Spanish cards, uh, German playing cards, uh, Hanafuda cards, and how they came to be, and whatnot. Alright, see you at part two.